There's a problem that has the drumming community in a virtual chokehold. Almost all of my students are dealing with it. This is the number one issue I see out there right now, and it leads to tons of other smaller issues in your practice time when it comes to motivation, focus, and seeing success in your practice time. More importantly though, how do we fix this massive issue in our drumming? How have I fixed it in my own drumming? How have I helped my students fix it? Well, first of all, we have to know exactly what the problem is. The problem is consuming a lot of drum content, drum information, and drum knowledge in lessons, but never taking the time to truly master it. We learn it on a surface level, mark it as done, and move on. I find my students have a lot of head knowledge from the internet. In other words, they work the concept to where they have it under their hands or their feet, and they may even be able to play it for me, but they can't use it in their playing. And if I ask them to apply that in any way, they really come up falling short. Ever heard the old saying, jack of all trades, master of none? I'm telling you, more drum content, working on more material is not the way to success. The way to success is taking a topic and going as deep as possible, spending a ton of time on that topic and learning how to apply it in your playing. I'm talking take it deep like you're living on the bottom of the ocean. You're down there so long you're considering marrying mermaids. That deep. Roy Burns, an incredible drummer and the founder of Aquarian Drumheads, called me one day. And as we were talking, he said, you know what? Back in my day, we used to take one thing and we would squeeze the life out of it. We wouldn't leave it until we had mastered it. There's this concept of priming the pump. If you've ever been on a farm or somewhere where you've had to get water from an actual hand pump, like the pump runs into the ground, you've got to bring the groundwater up, you're familiar with what priming the pump is. You'll sit there and pump the handle up and down for a very long time and nothing happens. But with priming the pump, we have to force the air out of the pipe and bring the water up from the ground. And that takes a while. But here's the key. If at any point we stop priming that pump, all the water goes back down and we have to start over. But if we'll just keep going until we start getting water out of that pump, it's very easy to keep the water flowing and to get as much water as you want. And this is exactly what we do in our practice time. In our practice time, we stop during the priming process before we've ever learned to utilize the material. We just leave the material. We feel like we've learned it. We feel like we've worked through it. But because we haven't worked through it on a deep level and we failed to integrate it into our playing, we've only half learned it. And the issue with that is this leaves us with the feeling that we've done a lot of work but seen no progress, which in turn leads to lack of motivation, feelings of failure, and and making us again turn to more material and trying to ingest that because we think that's the answer. I can think of countless drummers who use simple concepts on deep levels, which means they've taken the time to master that simple concept on that deep level. We've got the Steve Gadd flutter lick, which you can hear variations of this on Ricky Lee Jones' Chucky's In Love, as well as Al Jarreau's Roof Garden. You've got the Steve Gadd Mozambique pattern. You can hear that on Paul Simon's Late in the Evening as well as countless other songs. Neil Peart's infamous ride bell pattern, and I wrote down, you can hear it on Hemispheres, La Villa Strangiato, Spirit of the Radio, Red Barchetta, YYZ or YYZ, Between the Wheels, Far Cry, The Anarchist, and a ton more. We've got Neil Peart's two-handed ride cymbal hi-hat groove. You can hear that on Red Sector A, the camera I, subdivisions. We could mention John Bonham triplets. You can hear those all over his playing. And this applies to other areas of expertise as well. Take a basketball player, Steph Curry. He decided to go deep on three-point shots, and he's almost unstoppable at three-pointers. It's a very simple concept taken deep and applied in very creative ways in his playing. In the book Grit, which dissects expert performers from a variety of fields, they found that these expert performers were methodically working through very simple and basic material and applying it on a very deep level. The more of the material they learned in this very deep 
deep way, the more they could apply it and integrate it with the other simple basic material that they've learned at a very deep level and they can use it in very creative ways. They were in no rush, they made a plan and just did the next logical thing every day in their practice time and over time, these efforts start to compound. This process magnified over years and years of work makes them seem superhuman whenever we see them do whatever it is they're so great at, but they're not. They're just like you and I, only they've decided to be very focused, and to be very stubborn, and to work on that one thing until they can do it better than anyone. Let me interrupt this just for one second and ask you a question. Have you ever taken 30 days in your drumming and simply focused on one specific thing? How much progress could you make? Well, I'm here to tell you that after 25 plus years of playing professionally, teaching, if you spend 30 days focused on one thing in your drumming, the changes and growth you will see will blow your mind. And for you, I've got a free program. This is 30 Days to Better Doubles. This program I made specifically to help coach you step by step through improving your double strokes. You get all the exercises you need, they're timed. You get a video that explains them all. You get a calendar so you can track your progress. You get a checklist, like everything you need is right there for success. And here's the great thing, it takes less than half an hour a day. This isn't some sales pitch. I just want you to commit to one area, focus on it for 30 days. Again, it's free, follow the link, download it, and let me know how it goes. You can always email me, help at stevensdrumshed.com, but this is just a free gift for you. Again, 30 days to better doubles. The full program's there. You don't have to buy a thing. I just wanna see you improve. Okay, so you get it, but how do we fix it? It's both simple and very hard at the same time. We have to become great at ignoring things. We gotta do these four steps. We have to first decide what we want to work on. What's the topic we wanna to work on? The second step is we have to decide on the material that will get us there. A good teacher would help you do that. My program will help you do that. There's tons of things that can help you do that. Step three is we have to master the basics of that material and the exercises contained therein. And this fourth step is the one that we so often don't do, and it is we have to take the time to sit with the material, to introduce it to the rest of the things that we know, to integrate it with the rest of our playing, to take a deep dive on what we can do with that, to spend time creating with that topic. Then and only then will we truly master such a simple concept and be able to apply it in creative and expert ways. As we begin to see this stuff show up in our playing and as we're able to apply it, we are going to have the feeling of success, the feeling of forward momentum, and that leads to motivation, which leads us showing up more and working on more material at a deeper level. The question is, are you willing to do the real work? The real work isn't showing up to practice. The real work's not putting in more and more hours. The real work's not working on more and more material. The real work is focusing on one simple piece of drumming material until you can play it in your sleep. It's ignoring all the other shiny objects. It's ignoring all the internal urges to move on because maybe you're a little bit bored ignoring your thoughts about maybe trying to be as good as some other player. It's plugging in regularly and working methodically and intently on a very small amount of material, working in an intentional way over an extended period of time. You do that and you'll be unstoppable.